Hello everybody, new vlog time. Okay, so this is about uh, Indie Zombie and a few other things. Indie Zombie's not being cancelled or anything like that, I am still going to do it. In fact, I have a whole bunch of indie games that I downloaded and I'm going to be taking a look at within the coming weeks. And even posting. Uh, mostly this is a vlog about, uh, I received a message over my YouTube, apparently from the guy who created uh, the One Night Two Crazies game that I did a Indie Zombie Let's Play of quite a while ago, and has gotten quite a lot of hits, uh, for some reason. And he sent me a message uh, thanking me for doing a video on it, and asked me if I, uh, well, telling me that he made a sequel and had just released it, and was sort of requesting that I take a look at it, and I just downloaded the demo off of uh, Xbox Live and also offered me a code. Well, I don't know how that whole thing works. It's probably be very simple. Um, I said, thank you, uh, but that's not necessary. Uh, but I will take a look at it um, if you really want me to. Um, from some of the pictures I've, uh, from some of the pictures I've looked at, it looks like it's probably the same game, but I will leave that up uh, for, for when I play it and do a let's play on it. Um, and for those who would at all be curious, uh, when I do a let's play of a game, when I'm, you know, recording and playing a game, I go into it blind. I go into it not really knowing anything. I mean, yeah, I'll take a look at the pictures and I'll read the description on it, but when I do a let's play, I prefer to do it blind. That way I can kind of evaluate it, you know, as I'm playing it. And I need to emphasize something, in, in case anybody gets confused, and I'm sure this is something I've said for probably every video I've ever done. I am not a professional critic. I don't get paid to, to do this. Um, I don't really get asked to do this or, 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 or anything like that. I don't do this for a living. I would like to do this for a living. You know, I mean, who doesn't, you know, love, you know, the idea of just sitting around getting paid to play video games and just say, yeah, I thought this game was good. <laughs> yeah, but I do try to be a little bit more constructive than that. But, um, but on to this, um, you know, and the whole reason why I started doing Indie Zombie, as, I, as I've explained, is that it's, it's been well documented and well, well known for quite a while that a lot, a good majority of games that are on the Xbox 360 indie section sometimes are crap. Usually what they are is they're a Minecraft ripoff where you can play as your avatar and the graphics are not as good, but you know, graphics to me don't really make a game. I mean, yeah, graphics can be, well, hell, I mean, without graphics, you can't have a game but what what will get me is if you know a game is actually really trying you know to be interesting or to be different or you know to actually be fun or entertaining and uh and as i said when i was doing the let's play for one night two crazies um what it is is it's a five nights at freddy's copy uh only it takes place in somebody's house and his buddies are testing out their brand new security system yeah really not that much different now other people um he's the creator he's trying to get it uh on steam Greenlight now and i'm not you know gonna say like oh you know we need to you know ban this game no no i think that's stupid um, and, you know, and there have been a few people who are making suggestions, you know, uh, like there was somebody, uh, who said that, uh, you should drop, uh, the whole security camera Five Nights at Freddy's and, and the jump scares thing, because that, you know, you need to try something different, you know, and, and, and as to say, like, that was something that I really liked, about when I did the Let's Play for Appease the Spider. Because yeah, it was a Five Nights at Freddy's copy, but what it did was it took the idea and it 
did something interesting with it where you had full control of your character. You could roam around the house. You had a little phone where you could, you know, switch from camera to camera to camera so you could kind of stay one step ahead. And you had goals that, that you had to accomplish from each level. You know, and you also had spots in the house where, where you could hide. So that got me thinking. How could this person make another sequel or any other type of survival horror kind of game? Well, that got me thinking. Here is a suggestion. Throw out the whole security camera thing and have it be a real kind of home invasion survival style game. Here's the setup. It's a dark and stormy night. There's it's pouring rain outside, lightning, thunder, all, all that stuff. You're in your house. It's a semi-pretty big house. And you're a little paranoid. Well, let's say somebody actually breaks into your house. You know, you hear a big crash. You go downstairs. You see people walking around with flashlights. And you hear mumbling about they're looking for something. And the game you have to hide from these people and let's say for for each level or for each goal you have you have different things that you need to accomplish like say you need to try to turn the security system back on or you need to try to get to a phone so that you can call the police or maybe you need to try and find a way out of the house to and if these guys ever catch you they will kill you you know, and let's say there's two or three of them, or or one point there's even four of them, and they're all coming from different sides of the house. And the house is maybe a two-story house with five to six rooms on one level, and maybe four or three or so on 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 another level. You know, and give yourself you know full and complete control of your character. You know, I think that would make for I think that would make for a really interesting game. I could see it being a really good game, especially uh, it, if you were able to do it right and you were able to add uh, the ambiance and the mood and the lighting and the use of music and sound. That would make for a really good game. That would especially be uh, intimidating and scary and certainly a much better idea than, you know, because... Uh, I mean, when you do something that's a carbon copy of a game, it's just, why did you, I'm sorry, I mean, why did you make this? It's just a carbon copy. You know, um, and I had thought at first, like, did he, did he watch my video? Because, now, and I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't saying, oh my god, this game fucking sucks. <laughs> no, I was just saying, like, this is a... This is a carbon copy. This this really isn't anything original or too interesting. So, uh, uh but nonetheless, uh, he hit me up and asked me, uh, and I'll take a look at it, and I, you know, and I'll I'll do a video on it. So, uh, anyway, that was just kind of my thoughts on uh, on this whole thing. I mean, it's not happening a lot. Uh with a lot of carbon copies of games. Uh, I mean, you do see a lot if you go to uh, the Xbox Live Indie section, where I believe there are still Minecraft clones just coming out nearly every single day. Now, what would be insane would be if they were charging, you know, $10, $15 or so for these games, but they don't. These games only cost a dollar. Maybe sometimes a little bit, maybe sometimes just a little bit more. But sometimes I think if you're paying a little bit more, sometimes you get a little bit more quality, or at least you you expect a little bit more quality if you're paying a little bit more f for a game. So, all right. Well, anyway, I oh god, I gotta go back to work tonight. It's been a long day, and then I need to see about trying to record, and I got videos I gotta edit especially. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, my friend Luke Nutzman and I, we recorded uh, about an hour's worth of more Hearthstone stuff. 
I'm gonna see if we can try and do uh, some videos on some on some other games. Maybe play some co-op Borderlands. Maybe play some Dive Kick. You know, just something off of uh, the PS3. Uh, you know, that we can play together against each other or with each other. I think that would be a lot of fun. Well, until then, see you guys. Take it easy.